everyone. It's Elaine and do 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 and Sissy too. She's not a big fan of being turned upside down. <laughs> But she's a good sport. Boy, do I love that little fuzzy thing. Anyhow, I want to show you what I've been up to. Last week, I posted a few things that I had gotten from some yard sales and some estate sales when I went to hang out with my friends in North Georgia. <clears throat> Excuse me. So they kind of have a get together every couple of months. And I've been fortunate enough to be invited, which I greatly do appreciate. But this time I stayed with a gal named Patty and she's like me. She likes going out to yard sales and estate sales and sometimes thrift stores to see what we can find. And um, so we did that going in to where everybody was crafting at. Now the majority of those ladies are scrapbookers and Patty and I both do junk journals now she also does cards and stuff and beautiful cards some of those ladies make the most magnificent cards um but anyhow so i showed you those goodies last week i do want to show you what i did accomplish i actually did do some crafting um and what i did was what's called a hinge journal now i saw this on a facebook group and the lady's name was marissa so I reached out to her and I asked her if she would be willing to do some sort of video to show us how. But what she did do is she gave us the name of the person that she had watched originally to do the Hinged Journal. Well, checking her out, this is her digital from Etsy. Now, let me also tell you, she has a lot of them. Have you ever chatted with somebody and you think to yourself, man... I'd like to be their neighbor. That's always how I have felt about Nick the booksmith. And now that's how I feel about Marissa. Um, she's very talented with her digitals. And I liked the fact that she was willing to share where she got the idea from. Now granted, she's done it and she has run with it. Because these digitals, wait till you go on there and see. And you get a whole lot of goodness fun stuff in her digital kits definitely all right so i'm going to just do a quick flip through and i will post down below the name of her youtube channel um she does do a breakdown i think it takes about three videos for her to do a breakdown now this isn't exactly the digital she used she used a different one um but she does I think it's, like I said, three videos, and I'll also give you the link to her Etsy shop, which I'm sure will be on her video as well. But, um, yeah, I want you to go, and I want you to check her out. Now, before I open that up, I want to show you the tape that I used as the hinges. Um, this is the roll that I used, and this tape was by Tim Holtz. Um, when I went looking for linen tape, Lord have mercy, there was all kinds. Um, Tim Holtz and I think Market 49, or is it 49 Market? Market 49, I think, put some out too. So I bought different ones because I wasn't sure what journal I was going to start with first. Now, I will say the next one I'm doing is a pink one, and I'm doing something a little different with the hinges. Not sure how long that's going to take me to do. But anyhow, let's get into this so you can kind of see. Now remember, these are all her digitals in one kit. Um, the other thing that she suggested was to use 110 pound, uh, I keep saying test paper, like I'm fishing, 110 pound weight um, photo paper, photo map paper. That's expensive to me. So I... First, I printed these two-sided like she suggested, and I just used regular paper. And they are thin, and eventually I will do something with them. But I went back and printed them one-sided, and then I used the cardstock in between them. Because I have tons and tons of cardstock. So that's what my, how mine is done. Mine is done with a layer of cardstock in between. But... All of these digitals are hers. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. So you will definitely get your money's worth. 
she gives you both sides of the pages and then she gives you these I don't know what you want to call them I guess you could use those in a journal too because the way that they are set there's two on a page so you really could just fold them in half and use them um, some more pockets there's a lot of pockets there's um, like Rolodex index cards there's just all kinds of ephemera in here I'm telling you and of course you can add your own but she gives you plenty she gives you little things to add to it um, yeah I mean it's amazing to me this is a little side thing um, I did boo-boo a couple of times like this one I glued down instead of making it a pocket it's what happens when you're with your friends and y'all just chatting away and everything I mean yeah I, I, I glued some things down that I, I really shouldn't have but I don't know I just really 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 like this and I said you know what I'm gonna um, send her um, hopefully some new followers and and some people that will um, maybe perhaps buy some of her kits and um, yeah here you go and um, anyway so that I mean this is it this is the whole kit and caboodle and I will say that I am so I don't know want to do things the way that the creator did them so I go back and I I put these pages in the order that she numbers them like front one back one so my ones are her ones now you don't have to do that not everybody is uh, yeah like me <laughs> but it just I don't know I figure she had a flow with it all and that's what I was gonna go with anyhow that's it and uh, like I said I just like the way it feels I I, I like the size of it um, you know of course my hinges some of them are a little out of whack my first ones um, on my first pages but it was so easy to do you know you do three hinges then you do two in between that then you flip the three over and then you get ready and do another three and then you flip those two over and then you do two and then you flip the next three over I mean it's just great it's just great and once you get the hang of it there it is really super easy all right so please go check out Marissa it's Sweet Pea Curiosities is her Etsy. And again, I'll put all the info down below. Um, but remember, too, that I do um, a video every Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. And I want to tell you that um, I live in Georgia. Most of you know that. And I have teamed up with a gal named Lori. And we are going to start doing some retreats. And for the most part, they're mostly scrapbookers. But there's... A few ladies in there that are interested in junk journals so if you see this video and you live in Georgia or somewhere near 